what is up youtube we're back this is gonna be love island season two but this is the shady version where we treat all these islanders how they treated us the entire season we go from fake friends to friends that are trying to steal the man of our dreams to girls claiming that they're all about the girl code when they're snogging your man behind closed doors to girls being obsessed with their guy from day one and all we want to do is take a chance and give him a shot because behind closed doors he's telling us that he wants to get to know us so if you are down for that shady version you've come to the right place if you haven't already check out the other episodes where you can kind of hear our diabolical plan on how we plan on actually losing the game please continue to like comment and subscribe and there's not much i have to say without further ado let's get into this business last time we left off we just had the recoupling where we go went ahead and snatched Rocco right out of Lottie's hands not because we were trying to find love with Rocco no we could care less we just did it just to be petty the other thing that happened is Hannah she's out we know she's gonna come back a little bit later when she is like bad mamma jamma Hannah that's not playing any games and is here not only to find love, but to be just as petty as Hoella is being. <laughs> now we're gonna get into, this is, I mean, getting sticky with it. So it's gonna be my favorite challenge where we get to kind of rub up on our Islanders, take some of their paint and go to the bucket. And we know that our boys Henrik and Lucas are about to show up and that challenge where we have to steal Noah from Hope and things are about to pick up speed now. And I am really excited for this one. It's the morning after the first Islander was dumped from the villa and all is quiet. Well, except Noah's snoring. For goodness sake, how does Hope sleep with Noah snoring so loud? If she can cope with that, they're meant for each other. Hoella, don't say that. Mm -mm, they're not. Don't say that. You turn and look at Rocco. Looks like I got away with asking more than one boy to couple up with me yesterday afternoon. Exactly. If you remember, we went and told Rocco, hey, choose us. And then afterwards, we told Gary, hey, go ahead and choose us. They don't seem to have even realized what with all the drama of Hannah and going home and everything. She's like, that's a silver lining at best. Exactly, girl. We are going to get away with as much sneaking around as we can. You look around the room. At first in the gloom, you don't see anybody. Then you notice Lottie sitting straight up in bed, staring at us. Her long, colorful hair is dangling in front of her face. So she smiles at us. Fake as ever. Hoella. She must be devastated about Hannah. What should I say? I'm gonna say, did you get up to anything last night? Why would I tell you? Don't try to play. Don't try to play. You hear a rustling sound across the room. Gary sits up and just looks at both of us. He's like, oi, keep it down, you two. Some of us are trying to sleep off an active night. Okay, so Gary's trying to imply that he and Marisol had a fun night. Marisol and I had a great night. Okay, if you know what I mean. All right, so he's implying that they did some things. Sounds like Marisol and Gary got up to stuff. I'm going to say, let's be a little bit annoying and say, I didn't hear a thing. I didn't think anyone would. I know how to keep it down in here, unlike some people. I wonder who he's talking about. He said, I'm a ninja at doing bits. Okay, so now he's trying to imply that him and Marisol did some bits. She's like, what are you talking about? It was just a small peck on the lips. So she's calling Gary out like, don't get it twisted, boo. We did not do anything. Gary's like, oh, um, it seemed like more to me. Poor Gary. He tried. Marisol's like, how? It was just a way to say goodnight. I was just being friendly. So she's throwing him right in the friend zone. Gary's like, well, it still felt special. Poor Gary. She's like, well, I didn't mean to make it a big deal. Shoot. Lottie says, you're such a liar, Gary. Gary's like, what are you talking about? I was always straight with her. It happened last night. You had a chance to save my friend. Okay, so here comes Lottie getting all worked up about Hannah all over again. So Lottie's upset. I'm gonna say, do we need to have this conversation all over again? Gary's like, ugh, apparently. Gary's getting ticked. Lottie's got that fucking face. <laughs> Hold on, Lottie. If Gary hadn't picked me, I'd be the one going home. Exactly. So now Lottie's blushing because she knows she's getting called out left and right by everybody. Lottie's like, look, I'm not saying I don't want you here, babe. It's just that Hannah and I were close. Were you? I just want my friend back. Gary's like, I still don't get why you're having a go at me. And now I have someone I actually want to get to know. 
Oh, he sputters and looks at us. Okay. So Gary's trying to, you know. He says, I mean, I had someone I wanted to get to know, but she got taken off the table before I could even choose. Oh, wow. So Rocco's now moving. Rocco's like, whoa, dude, this is a really bad vibe to start the day with. So things are getting heated already. Day one after the recoupling. Season three, where's this moment? You know, how come Harry couldn't snap on tie the next morning? Or, you know what I'm saying? But we're, we're not there. This isn't season three. This is season two. Gary says, Hoella's done with it as well. Thank you, Gary. Yes, we are. He looks around the room and then stops frowning. A grin is emerging on his face instead. He says, ha, it's all Vance anyways. So Gary can drop some stuff real quick. He said, you know what? I'm gonna go lift something heavy. He slams the door shut. For a moment, nobody speaks. Bobby wakes up and he's like, well, that was awkward. Rocco's like, yeah, it's been less than a week and the energy here is completely out of whack. So he turns and looks at us and he says, at least we have each other. You know, I'm gonna say, for now. <laughs> because it's true. Hoella's with you right now, Rocco, for the time being. But the minute she can snatch up Noah, she's snatching up Noah. The minute she can snatch up a new guy, she's snatching up a new guy. Rocco says, true, who knows what will be thrown our way. Noah's like, are you all right, Marisol? Marisol wipes her cheek. For a, brief moment, for a brief moment, she actually looks vulnerable. Marisol's like, of course I am. We knew the first dumping would be tough. It's only natural that emotions are running high. I'm going to get ready. So Rocco says, oh, I've got a text. Islanders enjoy a lazy lion and the please dress to impress for couples brunch in the gardens. Hashtag yum yum. Hashtag great British brunch off. So we're making our way to the dressing room. We're gonna choose the outfit of our dreams that you know, we're gonna look like a fine dime piece in. Let's choose, let's choose the green bathing suit. Cause that's cute. This is a sure to turn some heads. Exactly, girl. So we make our way downstairs. Gary's sitting on the sofa, his head bowed. Okay, so Gary's on the sofa. He turns when we enter. Yeah, Gary, look at this bathing suit. He's like, oh, hey. He's all excited. He jumps right up. Do you mind if I have a word with you? Not at all. He looks more serious than we've ever seen him before. He's about to say something when the other islanders make their way down the stairs. In private. Shoot. He's like, I'll catch you after brunch. Well, is like, but before you can even answer, Rocco comes in, he grabs us by our waist. He's like, come on, slowpoke. It's brunch time. He leads us straight to the lawn. You look back at Gary and he gives us a wink. I wonder what he wants to talk about. It's time for our Islanders to feast their eyes on, well, feast. A buffet table laden with delicious pastries, cereals, fruit juices sits proudly on them. Gary seems to perk up at the sight of food. He's like, yes, bruv, this is more like it. I like to experience a variety of foods, but I can't start the day with anything too heavy. It upsets my stomach. Come on, Rocco. We're trying to throw down on food, not eat grapefruit. He scans the table, picks up a grapefruit, and throws it up in his hand. He's like, oh, this is perfect. Is there anything here you'd like the look of? What kind of brunch food do I like? I love a good croissant. Like, you find me a croissant, I'm throwing down. Rocco says, classic brunch food. A dollop of jam and you're golden. Those chocolate croissants, oh, so good. He's like, let's grab some, I'm famished. So the two of you make our way to the buffet table. Noah skirts around it before taking a piece of everything. So you, Marisol and Hope are like chit-chatting. Hope's like, it's only been one evening. Marisol says, I know, but I was expecting to feel something different. You know, that certain spark. Oh, here's Hoella. <laughs> what a jerk. We shouldn't discuss this around. Oh my gosh. She nods in our direction. What a freaking B-I-T-C-H. I cannot stand her. Marisol turns and looks at us. Actually, can I get your opinion? Her eyes look out over the arrangement of food before focusing back on us. So, with you and Rocco, are you feeling, you know, the spark? Um, what? <laughs> you know, that something special? Am I feeling the spark? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say I, th I think so, just to stir the pot. 
She's like, I know it's only been an evening, but I thought I'd feel something already. I mean, I didn't feel it with Ibrahim, but I've not got it with Gary either. And then he exaggerated about us making out last night. What do you think, Coella? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be a little bit shady and say, without the spark, you've got some problems. You think? Unfortunately, yeah. That spark is how you know you're onto something. Without it, how can you be sure? That's what I was afraid of. I guess I should be getting back to him. Oh gosh. I knew I could count on you for help. <laughs> she picks up two full plates of food and then heads back to her table. Noah says, nicely put, Hoella. Thank you, Noah. I didn't mean to pry, but I couldn't help but overhearing. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. Hope's like, let's get our back to our brunch hunt. So she snatches Noah away from us. The two of them walk back to their table together. I still can't get over that. Hope said, we shouldn't talk about this around Hoella. I don't think she's ever said that to me. So Rocco brings us our plate of food and says, I didn't want you to meet, miss out. Here you go. So we make our way to the empty table. At first, neither of us say anything. We're just focusing on this delicious food. He shifts in his seat. He goes to speak, stops, and then starts again. So tell me, what's it like being a social media influencer? Being a social media influencer is... I'm gonna say it's thrilling but exhausting. No two days are alike, and while that sounds really exciting, it can be really tiring. Anyway, enough about me. Let's say, what's your ideal date? He says, hit me with your best guess. I'm gonna say, Rocco loves to play his ukulele, or whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna say an acoustic, acoustic music session. He says, right on, got some hard eyes and everything. Although I'd rather be up there playing something myself. Okay, one more. Let's say, what's your biggest goal in life? Wow, you asked the big stuff, what do you think? I think Rocco's main goal in life is, he loves outdoors, freedom, bullshit like that. So I'm gonna say freedom. <laughs> he says, I couldn't have put it any better myself. I don't like holding myself back with rules and expectations. See? I see life as a road, you know. I'm just along for the journey. That's fair. He says, maybe you'll be there with me. We'll see. We'll see. He says, wow, you really seem to know me. You got some more hard eyes and everything. He says, all right, I've got one. You know, people get that feeling when they're with the right person. Funny, I was talking about the spark with Marisol earlier. Oh, right, well, do you think we have it or something like it? Okay, so he wants to know if we have a spark. Let's tell him 100%. We're trying to get all these boys wrapped around our fingers. He says, I definitely feel something. That's a relief. I'm glad it's not just me. He puts down his food and rests his chin against his hands. Actually, I do have one more question for you. What drew you to me? Like, why did you ask me to pick you? To piss off Lottie? Like, is that an option? <laughs> you seemed pretty happy about it last night. Am I happy that Rocco picked me? I'm gonna say, of course I am. Uh, well, that's a relief. It can be hard to tell sometimes. Mm. You look around at the other couples. Noah and Hope are feeding each other with their forks. What? That's a power couple right there. Gary and Marisol don't even appear to be talking that much. I wouldn't wanna be at that table. Gary sees us looking and gives us another wink. Look at Gary. Gosh, I wonder what he wants to talk about. You carry on looking at the other couples. There's so much drama around Gary, I can't even deal. Priya appears to be carrying the conversation on with Ibrahim, so Ibrahim really needs to come out of his shell soon. And Lottie can't seem to take a bite of food without almost spitting it out from laughing. Mm, Cause Bobby is so stinking cute and so funny. <laughs> so we turn back to the gaze of Rocco. I'm glad we got to do this. It's been good to get to know you better. Wouldn't you say so? Of course. How do I feel this brunch date went? Let's say, I think it was a great date. I'm glad you agree. I think you and I may have something really special. The two of us spend the rest of brunch idly talking. Okay, the brunch is over, and while most islanders work it off by, well, not doing much at all, Gary finds his moment to approach Hoella again. All right, come on, Gary. Is she ready for some quality banter from one of Southie's finest? You're lounging on one of the sunbeds watching Rocco float on the surface of the pool. Your full stomach and the Spanish heat soon have us dozing off until something blocks out the sun. You look up and see Gary standing over us. 
there's a strained smile on his face. He says, remember earlier when I wanted to chat? Well, is now a good time? Yes, it is. Come on, tell me. Of course I'll chat with you. <laughs> he says, great. He looks around at the snoozing, snoozing islanders. I'd like to do it somewhere a little more private though. Privacy, let's do it. I'm not one for secrets, but I can't have the others hear us. He scans the villa, but there's islanders in every corner. Fancy a quick gym workout? So we make our way over there. Unsurprisingly, none of the islanders have taken it upon themselves to work out after a full brunch. Gary looks over at us, testing out a few different sets of what dumbbells. All right, get on the bench. I'll give you a brief workout while we chat. Gary thinks I need help with the workout. Let's, we'll allow him to help us. You position yourself on the bench. Gary hands us the weights and begins to guide our arms up in a few simple reps. Let's say, so what's the matter, Gary? What do you want to talk about? Come on, tell us what we want to hear. He says, it's about Marisol. I know I got hot-headed this morning. I'm worried I've made a right fool of myself. Gary lied about making out with Marisol. Should I bring that up? No. Let's say everyone's emotions were running high. <sighs> he lets out a long sigh and he gives us those cute little hard eyes. He says, that's true, but I don't think it was excuses. My Nan's probably watching. My Nan's probably watching this and shaking her head. I really like Marisol. Boy, stop lying. Um, sorry, I still would have picked you if I could have. I was so happy when I got to pick her and then we were in bed. She wasn't interested in doing anything, but I kept hearing the others. Oh, so he probably heard us, you know, because Rocco and Hoella got it on. I guess I just wanted to believe that we had something more than just a little peck. And that's fair. Do I want to call Gary out on his lie? No. You continue with some more reps before Gary speaks up again. Do you know how Marisol is feeling about me and her? Yeah, I do. She was really quiet at brunch. It got really awkward. I'm gonna say, let's, let's be honest. We don't wanna lie <laughs> about some things. She said she doesn't feel the spark. Gary whistles through his teeth. That bloody spark. You know, that's not the first time a woman has said that about me. What even is it and how do I change it? You can't just make a spark happen, Gary. Like all things, it just takes time. But not lying about doing bits would be a good start. Oh well. Um, I appreciate your honesty anyways. We should probably be getting back to the others. They'll get suspicious otherwise. Look at him smirking. He leans over to help us lower the weights down to the ground. The two of us are so close we could touch. Do I want to make a move on Gary? You do. You let the weights fall to the ground and you wrap your hands right around his face. Before he can react, you pull him down for an upside down kiss, just like they do it in the classic Spider-Man. His lips are soft. The weird orientation makes the kiss unusual, alien. Your heart thumps hard in your chest. If there's a such thing as a spark, this is it. His lips linger on yours for a while before he pulls away. He's like one for the good old times, huh? He remembers that kiss we had. I really would have liked to pick you last night. I thought maybe as you were with Rocco, now we might be over. Mm -mm. But there's clearly something still between us. He says, look, it's probably best that the others don't find out about us just now. I've already got enough people on my case as it is. Well, so does Hoella. First the Hannah situation, then Lottie gets in my head. You tell me Marisol isn't feeling that spark. And to cap it all off, I've gone and kissed Rocco's bird. We may have been together first, but right now you and Rocco are together and I don't like kissing people behind people's back. What a mess. So now he's all stressed out. Like, you'll be all right, Gary. He says, come on, let's get out of here. The two of you walk back to, in silence. You take up your position in the sun just a smidge longer. All right. So we just had brunch with our man Rocco and we talked to Marisol about feeling this spark. We're lying to the girls and telling them that we feel it with Rocco even though we're kissing Gary behind closed doors. So we're being just as messy as all these other girls are. I don't care. That's what we're trying to do. I have never heard Hope tell Marisol, I don't think we should tell Hoella what we're talking about. So that means we're doing something right because the conversations are changing. Next time, I think we get to be shady. 
I think it's challenge time. I can't wait. If you guys have any recommendations, leave them down in the comments below. Please continue sharing your experiences playing Love Island because I am cackling and I'm loving it. From people saying they had to restart the game because they fell into the bobby trap. From people telling me how much they can't stand Hope and Noah. I'm living for it. I'm living for it. If we're not being shady enough either, let a girl know because we can keep we can keep stirring that pot. I'm stirring it as much as I can, but if you guys see a better option that I should be choosing, let a girl know. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We're going to upload again because we might as well. We don't have anything else to do, y'all. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.